Hi, C's. Welcome. This is the Empress. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. All right. So this is going to be for February 2019. Um, this is going to be a general read. These messages will not resonate with every single Pisces. Um, and if you're cross watching, these energies can be can go either or vice versa. Um, so this could be you doing this to someone or there's, this can be your cross watcher carrying this energy. OK, this is going to be for sun, moon, rising and Venus Pisces. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave me a like, a comment, share, as well as a subscribe if you're new to my channel, okay? So let's hop into it. Let's see what's coming in for Pisces. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for my Pisces here? What messages do you have for my subscribers, for Pisces, my new subscribers, my subscribers to come? What messages do you have for my Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Pisces. All right, Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, guys, we have flirt. All right, so extend your lighthearted energy to others. So some of you guys could be flirting. All right, so let's see. Hmm. All right. What additional messages do you have for Pisces? What additional messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, man, rising Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising Venus. Please give me clarifiers for Pisces. All right. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Past energy, guys. We have romantic feelings. All right. So some of you guys have been having some romantic feelings here. All right. We have trust for present energy. Um, and for future energy, guys, we have getting to know each other. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Ten of Wands. So this is telling me that something is a heavy burden. Okay. There's something that you possibly want to let go of. Um, some of you guys are possibly... Um, trying to communicate with someone or trying to tell someone um, something here. I feel like some of you guys are possibly even too independent or too, um, too busy. That's maybe why some of you haven't been communicating here with someone. Okay, let's see. Or someone has been bringing this energy towards you. Interesting, Pisces. Interesting. Okay, so for past energy, guys, here with romantic feelings. All right, so we have, um, what we have here is the five of wands, okay? So five of wands is telling me that there has been some conflict here. All right. There's some conflict, some issues going on here. Um, someone possibly um, walked away um, and possibly left you feeling worried here. And there's some type of regrets here. OK, there's been some type of conflict. Yeah. Someone abandoned someone abandoned someone here. Someone left somebody out in the cold. Um, there could have been some type of uh, some type of issue or you had some romantic feelings for this person, but some issue or something popped off. Um, and someone walked away, um, you could have walked away or this person could have walked away from you, but there's definitely some worry and also regrets in looking over the past. And there's also a sense of feelings of abandonment or feeling left out in the cold or a lack of resources. Okay. So I'm sensing that there could have been somebody, somebody had some feelings for somebody, but someone there could have been some type of argument or fight and someone walked away. Okay, present energy here, we have trust, okay? We have trust. So I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with, I'm getting fire, earth, especially Capricorn here with this devil card, but I'm sensing, okay, six of wands. This is when things are beneficial to you. This is 
when something, when you're being successful in, in an endeavor. With this devil card, there could be a Capricorn involved. This Knight of Wands energy is very temporary energy. It's very back and forth energy as well as this Knight of Pentacles. Now, it's funny because these Knights, both of them are Knights, but they're facing opposite directions. So someone is definitely not seeing eye to eye here. Um, there could possibly be trust issues. Someone could possibly be, be very toxic or carrying some negative energy. And it's something about this individual that you feel that you can't trust. Because I'm sensing like there's there's two people here, two knights here that are facing opposite directions. So it's like you guys aren't seeing eye to eye here. So there's a feeling of, I'm not sure if I can trust this person. This person could be some type of snake, um, could be trying to pull the wool over my eyes or, you know, in some way, shape, or form, I'm sensing that some of you guys are possibly having some trust issues here. So going into the near future, guys, we have getting to know each other, okay? Getting to know each other. So I feel like here with this Four of Wands, this Four of Wands is telling me that this could be someone uh, that you live with or you were living with, this is future energy. This could be a family member, okay? Um, some of you guys could even be involved in a marriage here. We got the queen of wands. This is when you're taking action, okay? Um, and this is fire energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries, but someone is very, could, could I'm getting, con having control over a household, we got the emperor here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries. But this is about dominance. This is about being stern. This is about um, a certain way of doing things, having boundaries. Um, and then we have the hangman, which is talks about delays. This is the card of Pisces, but this also talks about having delays, okay? Things being on hold. So let me, I want to pull a few more cards. This is interesting. Some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini, could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself, because we got the King of Cups as well as the Queen of Cups here. I feel like some of you guys are be, are putting something on hold in the future or are being put on hold. Something in the past about resources and finances. Um, someone left somebody out in the cold, definitely. This was someone that you had feelings for. I feel like they walked out on you or you walked out on them, Pisces. Um, I feel like someone here is multitasking. You could be doing a lot of juggling. You could be doing, they could be doing a lot of multitasking. It could go either way, but I'm definitely feeling like things are being put on hold. Um, someone is holding on. You guys are holding on to something here. Maybe some of you guys are holding on to your resources or holding on to your coin. Some of you guys are possibly being a little selfish. You're putting things on hold here because you're trying to take control or have um, put, there's some type of boundaries here that you're putting up. So you're deciding to put things on hold. And I feel like some of you guys are, people would say that it's selfish, but I feel like some of you guys are holding on to your resources. To me, that's not selfish. I feel like past energy, there's something here about continuing to work or continuing to build here. And like I said, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved here. Um, some type of clarity was found out here in the past. Um, there was an understanding. I feel like there was a lack of funds or a lack of resources um, that caused somebody to walk away in the past. Okay, so let's that's the end of the Romance Angel um, section. Let's get some more. What else? What else? What other information do you have for my Pisces? This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus, Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of February, February 2019 for Pisces, please. All right, Pisces, we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so this is changes. Some of you guys are looking for a change. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, but there you don't want to stress. You don't want to stress about something. Some of you guys were waiting here 
Um, there could be a cancer involved here with this chariot card, but some of you guys are waiting for forward movement, waiting for a progression. I feel like some of you, it didn't happen for some of you guys. So, I mean, it's like a, a worry or you're anxious, but I feel like some of you guys are just looking for something different or looking for a change. Okay. So let's see. Some of you guys have decided that you're not going to let your guard down if it's not beneficial towards you. Um, you're hoping that a decision is made. You're hoping that um, you have a, um, a multitude of options. And you're not, I feel like some of you guys aren't willing to let your guard down. I feel like there is something here about a balance here or trying to find balance um, within yourself. Some of you guys... Um, in the past energy, decided to be single. Um, and you're trying to find healing. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to balance yourself. Um, I do feel like someone is definitely regretting what they said here. Someone is regretting their actions. Someone is re having some regrets, definitely. Someone is regretting their actions or regretting something that was said. Um, going into the near future, guys, we got this Ace of Cups. You guys are tired of somebody lying. You're tired of the lies. Someone is lying. Someone is um, wearing a false mask. Um, and, and I feel like some of you guys are wanting to put that to rest. And, are, and some of you guys are just tired of the game. Someone is playing games. I'm getting mind games with the seven of swords and this five of swords. I feel like someone is playing mind games. And I feel like you're, you're getting tired of it. Someone is playing with your emotions is what I'm getting. You're tired of someone playing with your emotions or your feelings. Why is the seven of cups here? Seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here? Queen of cups. You're definitely hoping for some a better option. And it's in love. It's in regards to love. Why is the, the ten of pentacles want to pop out here with this star card? So you're hoping for stability. You're hoping for something long term. You're, you're looking for some options here and you're not willing to let your guard down um, if it's not beneficial to you or you're you're not coming out on top. You're not willing to let your guard down. Your guard is up and you're not willing to let it down if it's not beneficial to you. And there's something that was possibly said or done. Someone here is regretting their actions. Someone here is regretting what was said or what they said. Um, and I do feel like going into the near future, guys, someone, I feel like you guys are tired of the mind games. Someone is playing mind games here. Either you're playing mind games, Pisces, or there is a cross watcher that has been playing mind games. Someone is playing mind games here. Um, and you guys are, are wanting to expand your options or open up your options, okay? I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Um, I hope that you guys return. There is so much more to come. There's so much new spreads that I have coming out to the channel. Um, and if you would like to book your very own personal reading with me, guys, that information will be in the drop box below. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Okay. Ciao for now, guys.